we pretty much got everything to do the Calypso now. So let's go ahead and show you what we got. We have our new CSU carburetor. If y'all are new to the carburetor game and you want a really nice carburetor, go check out Kevin at CSU. The customer service that you get and the knowledge that you get to go along with one of these carburetors is second to none. It's the E85 Ready carburetor. If you guys got any questions, just call up Kevin at CSU. I'm telling you, they got some of the fastest carburetor cars out there in the world, especially in the blow-through world, which is what we will be doing on Berger's car. Really nice stuff, y'all. All right, so next up we have our Stifler's drive shaft safety loop right here. And this is something that I recommend any of you guys that got a fast car, you're gonna be out there beating on that thing. You need you a drive shaft safety loop. This is the TPS sensor that we're gonna use on this carburetor. This will tell the computer the throttle position. This thing's about 100 bucks. It's gonna come in our kit that we're gonna be doing with Anderson Ford Motorsport with the Holly Terminator X. This will come in the kit for you carbureted guys. Now moving over here, this is stuff for the 21 for Space Ghost. 3.625 pulley here. So this is gonna add about two pounds of boost to the car. So we'll be somewhere around 12 pounds. And then I'm gonna go back to the original 5.0 badges just because, I don't know. I kinda like these better, honestly. We need to talk about this kit right here. So let me jump in and explain to you guys on the fuel side of things because I can't find the video. It's very simple. You can run your EFI pump. All you need to do is find a regulator that'll regulate your EFI pressure down to carburetor pressure. They're not that expensive, pretty easy to come by, and you're gonna be good to go. So, this is our Holly Terminator X kit for carbureted only. Now, you can add a wiring harness for your fuel injectors and make this an EFI kit but this saves you money whenever you purchase it and it's strictly just what you're gonna need to run this with a carburetor. Now, got a lot of people asking questions, why on earth would I ever run a Terminator X on a carburetor setup? That's the most ridiculous thing ever. I feel you, I hear you, I get what you're saying. It sounds like it when you just talk about it, but in practice, it's extremely efficient and it's really awesome. And we've ran many cars of ours with this combo already and it works real good, okay? So we're gonna talk about more of that. I'm gonna try to answer some of your questions that you guys are gonna have because I know you're gonna have them. Just trust me on it. This is a this is a really good setup here. Look at them in hot as hell. Y'all ready for some cool weather? Y'all be drinking them pumpkin spice lattes? How about that pumpkin spice phosphate? You wear this shirt right here while you ripping them gears and spinning them tires. Everybody in the whole town be like, damn, boy, you clean. And you're gonna be like, yeah, I got that shit over there at the drag swagger. They don't know what that is. Go on and send them the link. Shit. Now, the Aces kit is a good kit. I enjoy this thing. The car starts up really good. It runs good. We have a high idle issue that rears its ugly face every once in a while that's just a little annoying. But other than that, no issues there. And then we have a stumble at full throttle. Like if you're cruising at any speed and you, you just nail this thing, it's got a little bit of a stumble to it. We cannot have a stumble if we're drag racing. I figured it would work great and we would give it a go and it does make power. It makes plenty of power, but we can't have a stumble in this car at all, nowhere. We're getting rid of that for now. We're gonna put it on something else at some point. We're gonna go carbureted, Terminator X and nitrous. This is such an easy transition back over the carburetor or over if you're going to the Aces. Look how simple all this is. Everything just works. This is it. You literally just bolt, unbolt that stuff, bolt your new shit on, and you're good to go. Like everything's bolted down, we are good. We have a linkage hooked up already, so all this is working. What this car is waiting on now is just fire. That's it. And well, it's got fuel, because if we cut this thing on, we're gonna have fuel. Probably need to test that, actually. Well, we can't. We don't have any, any way to drive it. This is the complete Terminator X carb kit here. First off is your computer. That's gonna go in the car. This is your wiring harness that sends power to your Terminator X, done. That's your screen. That just plugs into the Terminator X once you're all done with everything. This is your tuning cable. That's simple. This is for your distributor. So this is literally gonna plug into your harness and then plug into your TFI on your distributor. Super simple on that. These are outputs. So this will like control your fans and things like that. This is not even a must. You don't even have to have this if you don't want to control that stuff, but we're going to need to control fans. So we're going to use two wires out of this, two wires. This little piece right here goes to your oxygen sensor. This is going to go through the firewall of the car inside, and that's going to plug into your Terminator X. What you can do is start from the inside. Either way, I like to start from out here. Take one plug, 
get it through the hole, take the other plug, get it through. So yeah, I think, if I'm not mistaken, that's the fuel pump trigger. So that's what'll trigger your fuel pump setup. So this will go inside the car. Most of this harness is gonna be inside your car. All right, so your harness is now in. Takes, say, five minutes, right? So first off, let's go ahead, get this plugged up right here. This is gonna be for your wideband O2 sensor. It's just that little harness, remember? And all you're gonna do, you're gonna drop it back down behind the engine um, on top of your transmission, and you'll handle that underneath the car. So that's out of the way. Ignition's gonna be this little connection right here. And that's gonna go over to your distributor. So, just route that around like that, and then voila, go straight to your distributor. Manifold air temp sensor, which is going to plug in over here. This is coolant temp sensor. So this will have to be changed out into the new style, which is right here. This is all GM style stuff. I know you guys hate to hear that, but that's, that's what it is. All right, so uh, we can go ahead and take that sensor out right now. Plug this one in. Take your new sensor, screw it in. Damn! Did y'all hear that? That's that freaking demon rooster we got. Berger made a joke earlier. He said demon I'm like, that's, you, you can't say that on the channel, man. Cool temp sensor. Now, for right now, I'm just going to literally plug this stuff in. We're not trying to make it all pretty, okay? I just want to show you where everything goes. Coolant temp sensor. Bam. Done. TPS will go right here. So we'll have to cut this and put a new fitting on the end of it, but it's no problem. We're not running idle air control stuff, so this can go ahead and be looped back and tied back in, right? We're not even using that. All right, so we're right in the middle of doing our Terminator X install, and I wanted to show you something. So Heath has got him a new car. So tell us about this. What year? Man, it's an 89 four-cylinder five-speed car. I was supposed to do a drag and drive event like last month or month, month and a half ago, mm -hmm. and the car wasn't ready. And I was like, I gotta have a stick shift Fox or something to just go drive. <laughs> and I didn't make it to the event, but I started hunting around a marketplace here locally, and this thing was sitting in the weeds for 1,500 bucks. I literally threw a fuel pump in it, and it's got cold AC, drives around perfect, like. Andrew hooked me up with the wheels, had them 14 inch like soft yeah. wheels on it. But aside from that, nothing. Like just That's a crazy. good little driving car. That's crazy y'all. So look how straight it is. You know, we have people all the time. They say, man, you can't find these cars anymore. Well, here's the deal. You might not can find them up north, but down south, they're still around. Now this is a really good deal and it is a four cylinder car. But the point is, look how straight it is. You could easily convert this thing over. I just had to show y'all. I mean, look at the interior on this thing. Zero That's rust. Crazy. All the torque boxes are fine because they don't make any power. I mean, it's the perfect builder box. Yeah, absolutely it is. Or, or a little fun daily. I mean, yeah. just, I've enjoyed driving around. Look, he's already yes. <laughs> Dude, that's cool as hell. I just wanted to show you guys this. That's crazy, man. These cars are still out there. And this car was on Facebook Marketplace, by the way. So he scooped it up, 1,500 bucks. That's so. like two miles from your house. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> yeah. He got it right out from under me. <laughs> All right, you are gonna be at Ford Takeover, right? Yes, I'll be okay. There. All right, so he will be there at Ford Takeover, guys. We're trying to get all this stuff knocked out so that we can get this car to Ford Takeover and Berger's car. I had to run to AutoZone and grab a distributor because I completely forgot about the fact this is a TFI driven system here. We went to AutoZone and picked up a new distributor. Here it is, it was like 120 bucks, something like that. It's for 351 and it does have the steel gear for the roller. So that'll be fine for what we're doing. We've really not done a lot since you guys last saw us. Basically all you're gonna do is run all your sensors, your wires around to your sensors, I should say. And you'll have to lengthen some depending on how you wanna run it. We wanted to run it through the intake, so we had to lengthen three sensors and that's it. It's all still plug and play. We'll get this done, we'll get back to you in a minute. So I wanna remind you of just how simple this is. This is our distributor we're taking out. It's already loose. So just pay attention to which way the button's pointed and you just want to put yours back in that same configuration. Just like that. And we should be good. So I just want to show you guys how easy this is. Now y'all are going to have to change the cap out because this cap won't work on that. So no big deal. I'll show you an easy way to do that too. There it is, right? TFI plug. Look at that. Just work your way around if you want to do it this way. 
This to me honestly gets more confusing to do it this way sometimes, but this is how you would do it if you were unsure of your firing order. Just a couple of more wires to hook up and we'll go ahead and throw the computer in this thing and try to bust it off tonight. Here are the connections, find out where they go, plug them in. So off of your harness, you have a little, little plug right here. This is where you're gonna tune the car from or uh, plug in your screen. For right now, we're just gonna plug the screen in, plug it in. And what we'll do is we can cycle the key and see if everything works. All right, and that's it in here. There's also a green wire that's inside the car from your harness, from your um, Holly harness. And that's gonna hook up to your fuel pump. So whatever controls and drives your fuel pump, that's what that's gonna do. So this is all temporary, but the green wire goes to the fuel pump and you're good to go in here. The one thing you will have to wire in is your TPS. You just cut the wires. It's all in your papers right there. It shows you which wire goes where. And then what we'll do is we'll switch the key on them. We'll verify by moving the TPS sensor to see if the TPS actually moves. So we're just gonna go in, load up one of our files that we had and see if everything kicks on. fuel so we need to set static timing on the car so we'll do that tomorrow it's late and uh, we also have a fuel leak so these are not the correct rails for this so um, yeah I'm gonna have to figure something else out real quick because that's not gonna work we're already we're already puddling up gas but the point is there it is she works only thing left to do is hook TPS up and do the static timing guys that's it that's just how easy you can put a terminator x on your car and control a lot of different things and i'm going to talk to you guys about what all you can do with this and why this system is so great because i know you're probably asking yourself well man why would i go out and spend that money yeah, i've already got an msd box you know my car runs do i really need that no not really if your car is already running you're happy with it you don't need a setup like this but if you want to be able to control timing you want to be able to have your fans come on and off whenever you want to. The car save itself if it gets too hot or something crazy happens and pull all the timing out of it. You can still set up all those parameters just like an EFI car. As a matter of fact, it's a very basic tune. This is a tune that you could share amongst each other, meaning there's no fueling in these tunes. So I could send you my tune and my timing would affect your car obviously as long as you look at the timing and you say yeah i like that timing these are tunes that could be shared amongst each other here's probably the best way to look at it you can take a stock tune a stock tune from one of these cars throw it in there and then just alter a few things here and there with it and you'd be good to go because they're pretty much going to have your fan control and all that like preset so it's going to be pretty easy for you but if you're out here running these cars real hard and you're racing them and you need some safety measures this terminator x kit is really the way to go and look at that that csu carburetor Ooh, she's pretty and she busted right off and this thing idled so we do need to set the timing on it we may be a tooth off because i don't like the way that sits but 
I don't know, we may leave it like that. I mean, it did exactly what we thought it was gonna do, guys. We're not, that's why we're not like super excited because I mean, we knew it was gonna do this. We've done many of these and the Terminator X is the way to go. Something else I wanna add before we go, this is a nitrous controller. This just wires right in, it plugs in. And what this allows you to do is be able to ramp your nitrous in with the Terminator X. Now, how cool is that? You don't need all these extra things. You don't need all this stuff. This will allow you to ramp your nitrous percentage. Also, it can control boost. They have new features now where you can actually tune these cars with Bluetooth, so that's super cool. Anyway, a lot of cool stuff, but I just wanted to show you guys, this is our new kit. If you are interested in this, head over to Anderson Ford Motorsport and look up the Brutal Terminator X Carb Kit. I'm telling you guys, this is the way to go. You're gonna absolutely love it if you ever get one. One other thing before we go, <laughs> I always like this stuff. Look, you get a screen in this car, okay? Yes, it's a small screen, but you can monitor coolant, you can monitor uh, oil pressure, fuel pressure. So I got mine set up to where, cause you got different screen variations you can do. So I got mine set up for the, the big RPM screen. And then you can set up when it turns yellow and red. So like warning and danger. So I got that set in my shift light. Yep. So I don't have to have an actual one of them round shift lights in my car. That's you right. Use it. Yeah, the whole thing will light up. So that works out really you good. Do the same thing for AFR as well. Have yeah. Danger. You see red, you you shift or stop. Yeah. So, so he's saying you can use it to monitor your AFRs. You can use it to monitor your coolant temperature, your um, intake air temp charge. Uh, cut your fans on and off. You can see what that is. You can monitor your, your RPMs. It's just so much stuff you can do with this, even with that little screen. Now, if you want to upgrade from here, you can go full Holly Dash, and then basically this is a complete standalone kit at that point, meaning you could throw this thing in a shell, an engine in a shell of a car with no wiring in it, and this thing right here will run everything but your brake lights and your headlights. You know what I mean? So that's really cool. Don't downplay the little screen. We got it in the 65 and it tells us everything about that car that we need to know. Papa T's loving it. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and wrap this video up tonight. We will do a follow-up. We're gonna come out here, clean these wires up, get this thing running good. All right, wrap this one up. And as always, thanks for watching. Yeah. All right, so this is purely for fun, but I just wanna show you guys some of the things that you can do when it comes to this Terminator X. So check this out. We are at low timing. We're about like five degrees timing on this car. And you can box your area in just where the car idles and have this thing do whatever you want it to do. So there's also other reasons for this as well, right? Maybe your car sits there and runs really rich at idle. So one of the things that you can do is turn the timing up on it and make it burn a little more cleanly at idle. The difference in this and just turning the timing up in general on your distributor is it doesn't involve cranking timing. So you can keep your cranking timing whatever you want it to be, 15, 28 degrees, whatever you want, and then your idle timing is completely separate. So that's why I like the Terminator X for really, really dialing in your timing. Something else I want to remind you guys of is there's a preset tune in the Terminator X that's for Fox body, and that's gonna have a nice timing curve for you, and that's gonna pretty much be everything that you need. Before everybody gets all upset, says this isn't worth it and it's too complicated, really think about the possibilities of what you can do with something like this, and I think you'll understand it. It's not for everybody, but it is really cool. So either way, enjoy some of these different tones that you're gonna hear coming out of the car, the way the cam sounds. That's me playing with the timing on it. Look at them in hot as hell. Y'all ready for some cool weather? Y'all be drinking them pumpkin spice lattes? How about that pumpkin spice phosphate? You wear this shirt right here while you ripping them gears and spinning them tires. Everybody in the whole town be like, damn, boy, you clean. And you're gonna be like, yeah, I got that shit over there at the drag wagon. They don't know what that is. Go on and send them the link. Shit.